Just going to go up and do the episode four of the swale on on steep slope and just passing these beans and just thinking I should probably come and harvest them. Nice crop there of purple beans. Now, let's go up. It's quite hot and dry today. Now, I've progressed. I just thought I'd show you halfway through. So, I've come along and I've used the two bales of straw that were here the other day. And I've brought those bales all the way along around the bananas at the end here and we're ready to finish this off but so what I did was I put some fertilizer on the berm just some fines um, you can do pelletised manure as well, but I just got some fines with a bit of mineral dust and stuff in it. And then I've marked out the tree spacing. On this berm I've done it at 2.7 uh, metres. Usually I do it between 2.5 and 3. Try not to go out to 3. Because if you're doing... Um, this kind of what I call like a homesteading backyard high production orchard you don't want your trees pretty much over three meters so um, your if your height's three meters your width is going to be two and a half so two and a half to three meters is is plenty 2.7 in this situation is going to be good. I'll put a jujube, two jujubes and another mango in this whale. So that's marked out there. Um, I ended up using the two bales just to get halfway. I ended up getting it on pretty thick. And it's starting to fill out the berm now. But like I said, you're going to... Be building material all the time you want to be bringing material into these um, these linear swales um, I like to call them like you know biomass berms and they're not just whales that you know infiltrate water and provide hydration to your plants but they give you a, a linear uh, berm to pile biomass on uh, which gives you lots of um, build up of humus minerals moisture it just it just solves a lot of the problems so even on these dry hot days you get um, not too much evaporation microclimate in here is still pretty stable everything's pretty shaded uh, the berms are all shaded there's no evaporation or very little in the bottom of the berms um, you see the moisture levels in here almost pretty wet under there as the layers go down uh, 
and fruit. Always getting fruit. Fruit is what we want from these systems. We want production. You don't want to invest time and energy into these systems if you're not going to produce. You may as well just let the land restore itself back to rainforest or whatever native forest um, is endemic to the area. If you're going to do these systems, you want them to be productive. Just taking you around just to show you what they look like after five or six years. Some of these plants aren't all that old, some are younger. But everything here is ranging from between um, four to six years. This whole system's been through one full drought cycle and one full flood cycle. So mulch's fertilizer was on first, mulch second with the straw, mark out the, tr the tree spacing, we can come back and put uh, more suitable plant mulches on like wood chips and forest mulch, we can keep fertilizing as well and we can plant out our plant guilds as well. I'll come back and do another one uh, with it planted out.